Yeah, we gotta back her down. Today on the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel, no, we're not talking about if I got taller. We're talking about the dually that pulls this 40-foot gooseneck trailer. This dude measures 50 foot from nose to rear. Now, we need a truck to pull this. If you've been following along, I personally have an L5D Kodiak. I'm not super impressed with this platform. Last time we were on the dyno, it laid over 200 rural horsepower. Hell, I can outrun the truck. Now guys, we got to test this truck out this weekend. Do I still want to trade it in? Because I really want an F450. Or do we want to buy another L5D Kodiak? Well guys, let's don't waste any more time. We got it powered with our D1 HP package. Let's hook to this trailer, take you guys out for a spin. So we're rolling down the road in our L5D. We got our 50 foot Diamond C trailer hook behind us. And I have to say it pulls the trailer like it's not even back there. Now it is a Kodiak. You'll notice it's very shaky. That's just part of owning one. Well, let's get into how this thing pulls. We're driving down the road right now, 1500 RPMs, 52 mile an hour, and we're just coasting. What's the boost pressure? Right now, just going down, we're right around seven pounds. What's our EGTs? Well, if you take a look, we're at 575 degrees. This thing just coasts down the road with no problems, but more importantly, the engine just isn't seeing a bunch of abuse from the heat. By the way, one thing that needs to be upgraded on these Kodiaks is the brake controller. It's not the best. We just downshifted. Now we're in fourth gear. We're coming up on it. 600 degrees. Got around 20-something pounds of boost. And now let's get in our pulling gear, sixth gear. 60 mile an hour. Shifted into fifth. 730 degrees is where our EGTs are. That is super cool. Nothing to be concerned about. How many pounds of boost? We're right at 15 pounds of boost. Now we're fluctuating between 12 and 15. And we're coasting down the road. Before, I'd have to be in it to win it. It'd be like NASCAR the whole time. So we're coming up on a hill. We'll show you guys. We'll lean into it a little bit. Let's see if we can get those EGTs up because that's what you guys want to see. We're coming up on a hill. I'm going to back the speed down to around 60 mile an hour. I want this thing to lug. That way I'm going to try to get those EGTs hotter. So let me go on down here. We're at 60 mile an hour. Take a look at my left screen. 58 mile an hour. Uncle Phil, can you focus on that hill? All right, I'm going to lug it. You can listen for the RPMs to see if this thing downshifts. 600 degrees, 650. I'm going to start accelerating. We're at 700 degrees, 711, 62 mile an hour, 730. Hell, I'm going to lay in it. 680 or 780 we're at 66 mile an hour this vgt turbocharger does a phenomenal job in keeping the egt's in check all in while trying to lug it pull up a hill it does it effortlessly so our main conclusion on the l5d is this when i first bought the truck the truck drank fuel like it was going out of style we had double the amount of fuel, if not triple the amount of fuel. I'll tell you this, you can look it up. From Jonesboro, Arkansas to Nashville, Tennessee, we went there in one tank of fuel on this Kodiak. I didn't bat an eye. When it's five, almost six dollars a gallon, that's detrimental to your checkbook. So we got there one tank, filled it up, and we went back on one tank. Now, as far as temperatures, I could not be more happy than what we are delivering right now. 180 degrees on the coolant, when we had this thing before, we were looking at 220 degrees when we are pulling up a hill, 210, 205 the whole time. It's not healthy on the truck. We more than doubled the efficiency of fuel mileage in the truck. We made the engine coolant temps happier. All in all, this truck will last longer. Yes, we added a shitload more power to it, but it takes nothing to get it down the road. It's happy. We're rolling down with seven pounds of boost. If anything, it's keeping it cleaned out. RPMs and air, you're keeping it cleaned out, but we're not heat soaking it. So now this truck will pull. We wanted an F450, but now if you drove a Kodiak, you'd want a Kodiak.
Guys, taking you back to the very beginning, 257 rural horsepower and 471 feet pound of torque. That's what it done with the factory turbocharger on there. Not very impressive. Now we outfitted it with our D1 HP package. We put on a 21 L5P turbo. Those measure to 62 millimeters. So what we done, we strapped this dude on the dyno and we made a fourth gear pull. Check out the graph. 330 rural horsepower. Now still, we're hanging in there making good power around that 26, 2800 RPMs. But I wanna know this. We pulled our Diamond C trailer, it's 50 foot, we had two trucks on there. Fifth gear, I wanna see what this thing's made out of. There's gotta be more power, cause 330 rural horsepower still ain't impressive to me. So guys, let's make a fifth gear dyno pull. Just finished up on our fifth gear pull. What do we do, guys? 544 rural horsepower and 1,063 feet pound of torque. Pretty much almost 600 more feet pound of torque. And hell, uh, let me add up here 200 more rural horsepower? Jesus Christ. So that goes to tell you the way these are designed and the way they're meant to pull. Of course, you get in your overdrive gears, fifth and sixth. I mean, these things eat down low. It's got the gear to pull it, so you don't need all that horsepower tearing up all kinds of shit. But when you're driving up down through the mountains, you need that horsepower to get you down through there. But more importantly, what can you do with 600 more feet pound of torque? Absolutely. If you're an L5P owner, if you guys enjoyed this video, make for sure you like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll be back here at Point Blank Performance, just beating the hell out of this L5D.